Hey you guys, happy Thursday. I'm gonna try to make it quick. So, um, yesterday there was an eight year old autistic child in my apartment complex. Had been missing from 8 p.m. Finally got a call around a little after 12 a.m., maybe 12.25. Um, I had walked three hours in search of him. Um, there were police swamped all through the apartments um, in the area, the canine dogs, he was found. And I remember seeing the police officer holding him and brought him downstairs. And all I could do was cry with the relief that he was okay. They would say he was either nonverbal or he had um, hearing loss. At first it was the hearing loss. Then that wasn't true. He was actually nonverbal. But this video is to let people know that autism and mental illness are very real. And I couldn't help but to walk to help try to find him. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't rest. Even, even after I saw he was okay. Because I heard, I heard one of the officers say something. But I couldn't tell who it was. I, I couldn't tell you what he looked like. I couldn't tell you any of that. But what I did hear him say kind of shook me to the core. I heard him say, don't shoot him, and kind of laughed. And this was after he had been found. And it's kind of bothered me all night. Um, I haven't been on here much on YouTube. Um, just dealing with my own things and my own personal issues. Um, so again, um, this stuff is very real. It, it, it's very real. Um, Destiny, as you all know, she has both. Um, but just to see this little boy, I had to, you know, as a mom, you had to like just lay eyes on the, the child to make sure, you know, it was him. He was okay. And I was just sweating everywhere. Um, and I would do it again if I had to. My body is hurting so bad because to be honest, I'm just not used to walking that much and for that long. Um, but just seeing him and he was like, he was kind of short. And when the police, officer, ugh, the police officer had him, all I could do was turn around and tears was just pouring down my face of joy that he was okay. Um, I know a lot of people aren't educated on mental illness or um, autism, but let me tell you, if you see a parent or just a guardian or anybody that their child is having a meltdown, it doesn't act, it doesn't mean that they're a bad child or something, they could have autism sometimes just go up and ask do they need help like is there anything that you could do because I know for me there are many times like it's it's overwhelming and it it's very sad like you know people make you feel embarrassed on when that is you know happening or whatever and I'm telling you like if you see somebody because autism doesn't make you look normal. It doesn't make you look like something's like you can look, you can have autism and look normal. I think I said that wrong. And you know, you, you can have autism and look normal. Like it doesn't have a face. Autism affects all people, shape, size, size, color. It doesn't matter. So you just don't know you going up to that person that you see is struggling and having a meltdown with that child. You just never know that child could have severe autism. And just that act of kindness um, would mean a lot. But after we got the call that the little boy went back home, um, and that was just beyond all of us because there were so many of us out here, um, it was something that I couldn't tell which cop I couldn't tell 
like who said it you know i couldn't i don't know what he looks like um but when i heard what he said i haven't been able to sleep um so anyway when the call came through that he was okay i heard the police officer say y'all don't shoot and start laughing i turned around so i could try to see if i could see him or anything but i i couldn't everything was just happening so fast and i have not been able to sleep because it just that made it real for me that racism is really here and you know to play like that is sad like it's sad and um i've been like very emotional you know from yesterday because you all know that how this world is this all could end a whole nother way and i just thank god that it did not but like i could hear comments you know people saying well how do you let an autistic child get away it happens all the time whether they're autistic whether they're normal doesn't matter um it happens it's not like we you know want that to happen i mean you can close your eyes for two seconds and they could be gone and so it's not that we want something to happen or us as parents with autism children um want something to happen um you know that's a parent's worst nightmare whether they are normal or not so again please take the time to understand and research mental illness and autism i think for me this did something for me last night like it truly hit home and how much um i deal with with destiny daily um it's very rough um you know i have people tell me that i'm a strong person to deal with the things that i deal with but also i'm human and there's a lot of times i don't sleep you know because if she's up i'm up so if you see somebody just out in the street or in a store and you see their child having a meltdown whether it's an adult or it's a child don't judge because that person could have autism whether it's severe or not take that act of kindness and go up to them and ask them is there anything that you could do even if it's a hug i can promise you for me that would mean more to me if someone came up and d done that to me when i had been out in public with destiny so with that being said you know i pray for everybody here on youtube um i can't i can't <clears throat> excuse me do the drama i can't um i can't do none of that um there are real issues going on out here you know um and i even seen a post i think it was today right here in my county that the officers had went inside a home and the man had a kkk suit hanging up this stuff is real please everybody be safe um we got to come together stick together life is too short you know and you know there are some issues that are going on when it comes with destiny but right now i don't care to discuss um all i can say is i pray for you guys and i hope that you pray for me if you're gonna pray pray sincerely if you're not gonna pray sincerely please don't pray because it seems like the more people pray sometimes they're not genuine when they do it so if you're not then please don't i need it to be genuine and from the heart but i love you guys um 
I'm not going to be on here much. I'm going to do videos here, here and there. And, you know, if I'm called out to do a challenge, you know, you know me, I will. But, um, I have to take the time out to deal with destiny on a personal level. Life is too short, you guys. Um, I love each and every one of you on these YouTube streets. We all been through hell and back together. And as long as we stand together, we'll be okay. So, thank you for listening to me. And, um, I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta go put air in my tire. My tire light's been on, so... Gotta go put air in my tire, but, um... I love you guys, and I'm kind of I'm kind of getting emotional because I see the little boy's brother um, from last night who showed me the picture of him, and so like I don't want to make him feel uncomfortable by continuing to you know glance over there, but like seeing him kind of brought it back to me a little bit, you know, because last night was very very intense. I mean, very intense. It, it was crazy. Like they even came and inside of my house to look to make sure that he wasn't in there that's how serious it was they were going like door to door to door to door and you know with me with destiny with autism that could have triggered her but they allowed the security officer to come in and just look you know um and i think that kind of helped destiny some so you know but they had to go into everybody's house i wasn't special just because you know I had a child like that you know they had to make sure that he wasn't in people's houses and I get that because I would want them to do that for me with destiny but I love you guys life is so short I'm praying for you guys and um I'll be back with another video soon bye